Go hide thyself. I believe there's only one hope for our generation, and that's the divine intervention. We talk about revival. It's a safe guess not one of those here has ever been in one. We've been in good meetings, but not in revival. Revival is the most chaotic thing, the most destructive thing, the most terrifying thing that you can imagine. Why isn't Elijah in Hebrews 11? I preach on Hebrews, I like that chapter, I'll tell you why. Every time I read Hebrews 11, I finish up on the floor. Why? Because men and women subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions. In other words, they shook whole kingdoms, and not one of them ever had a Bible. Dear God, where are we? Isn't this the greatest thing, this side of heaven, the word of the Lord came to me? What did Jesus do when he was tempted? He threw the book at the devil. It is written, it is written, it is written. You have a vision. Work by the vision. It doesn't do me any good. I must have the word of God. I can face the world, the flesh, the devil, everything. As long as God has said it. His word abides forever. God is still on the throne, but he's not sitting there nervously waiting for a letter to come up from Dallas to say that the men in the seminary have decided the Bible is infallible. Go hide thyself in a lonely place. We don't like that. Go hide thyself. John Knox has come back to Scotland. His voice is worth 500 trumpets. We need a man like that today in the nation. A man with authority. You don't question his credentials. Dear God, what does he do? The Holy Ghost anointing doesn't come with degrees or diplomas. It's by hiding away in the secret place of the Most High. And here this man stays for about three years, not three days. True revival changes the moral climate, the moral climate of a, of a district. I told Wilkinson, he used to live that by the side of me now, lives in. I said, David, there's no biblical authority for you, Billy Graham, or Roberts, or anybody else to have a one-night stand. Finney didn't do that. The Apostle Paul didn't do it. it. It's not there. Men stay for days. Do you know Finney would go to some crusades and not make an altar call until it preached for 28 days and nights. Now the guy goes in, wants to break up the fallow ground, sow the seed, and gather the harvest in half an hour. That's baloney. You see, there's something the money can't buy. You can't bestow it. You can't pass it on. It originates in God. It has to be born in me. And make men die. We're boasting without something we don't have. It's a theology. It's a phrase. It's a technique. I want an invasion of God. I want a God to settle over a community. It only comes by birth pangs. Somebody may have mentioned that great revival through Jonathan Edwards, one in the 1700s, when he prayed that sermon that is still read, sinners in the hands of an angry God. But listen, he spent the whole night before that with a group of choice people praying and fasting and weeping. Dear God, you'd be amazed how many young men write and ask me, would you like to pass your mantle on to me? So I write back, no, I'll, I'll send you some nice sackcloth, I'll never hear from them again. <laughs> that kills them. Oh, you're the new Apostle Paul and I want to be a Timothy, forget it. You know these marvellous exegetes, they can always find some reason. So the big boys on TV say, I'm not afraid to ask you to give me money. Ask a widow, he lied to do that. Listen, he didn't ask every, every widow in the nation to do it. <laughs> He asked one woman to do it. I, I, it was two in the morning, I know it was creepy. I was wide awake, fully conscious, reading the word, and I read the second death. And a voice at the side of me said, hell has no exit. Do you think I went to sleep? 
I went to speak at a meeting where they let 12 prisoners come in in white suits. And as soon as they walked in, the other thing that came to me, hell has no parolees. No parolees. One sin, it's there forever and ever and ever. You can do something here tonight you can't do in heaven. It's too late to do it there. Do it here. Readjust your prayer life. Readjust your fasting. Readjust your giving. Ask God that these dry eyes become a fountain of tears. Ask God for a broken heart. There has to be a divine intervention. Go hide thyself. Go show thyself. <laughs>